a small town battle that set up the infamous 1920 West Virginia coal mining wars that killed hundreds of workers as mining companies sought to break the union. Stories like this always sound depressing, but Mate Wan is a compelling drama about a variety of ethnic groups pulling together with unexpected results. In the beginning, two hired guns from the mining company try to evict a mining family, but the sheriff holds his ground. Neither of these will do for a writ. You'll have to see a judge in Charleston. What if we ain't got time to go to Charleston? Well, you better find some. Now, I can't do nothing about what you pull outside town limits, but you bother these people under my jurisdiction, I'll put you under arrest. Yeah? You and whose army? All you men own a gun, go home and get it. Your deputies as of now. Part of the drama in the film is when black workers looking for a job, including James Earl Jones, end up joining hands with rural white folks and with immigrant Italians when the philosophy of unions is explained to them by a labor organizer. You think this man is your enemy? Huh? This is a worker. Any union keeps this man out ain't a union. It's a goddamn club. Now they got you fighting white against colored, native against foreign, holler against holler. When you know there ain't but two sides of this world, them that work and them that don't. You work, they don't. That's all you got to know about the enemy. That's a really beautifully written speech, and Matewan is beautifully written and directed by John Sayles, here making his most ambitious film after making a lot of terrific independent films. The film was also nicely photographed in dark tones by Haskell Wexler. And the film stars Chris Cooper as that organizer. He's quite powerful, even though through most of the film, say for that scene, he's soft-spoken. Now, as for the whole issue of labor, especially these days, when we look at a pro football strike and wonder what the labor movement is all about, well, this movie tells us they're playing in this film for more than money and more than free agentry. In Meituan, they're fighting for their lives. It's a strong film, and I would really recommend this film for kids to see as a part of a school project to remind them of what labor is all about. Yeah, although, of course, that's a tremendous uh, endorsement for kids to see as part of a school project. I don't think that would send me running out to the theater. It would sound more like homework to me. And this movie is actually very passionate and uh, very strong in terms of its of its capture of that period and of that chapter of history. It's based on fact mm -hmm. and on little known fact. And there were a lot of bloody union strikes uh, at this time around the country. And this is really one of the best pictures, I think, of the Molly Maguires about yes. 18 years ago. Yes. That also has a similar story. The best and then Highland County, subject. USA was a documentary. I a thought great that was very, very yeah. well done. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't mean to knock it by you saying, kids, go see this. It's good for you. You know, mm -hmm. take, eat your medicine. It's a terrific film. I'm just saying that. This whole football strike has gotten people into a weird notion about labor unions, and I think this is a great antidote. Yeah, not everybody who belongs to a labor union makes $250,000 a year. Now let's take another look at the movies that we reviewed this week, although it would be nice if they did. Would two thumbs up for Meituan, the fascinating drama about a bloody chapter in American union history.